The political loony left are back again with another irrational argument that only exposes their own hypocrisy. Yes, this is about what happened yesterday in the House of Commons before all the votes about the illegal migration bill that Suella won. This is about defense procurement. And the SMP, their spokesman, stood up and attacked the government, the British government and the Minister of Defense for incompetence. And there is a point to it when it comes to the Minister of Defense and not only uh, the, the, the private contracts that they have, but also just basically speaking, when it comes to procurement, they have not been that competent. We know that. But the issue is the SMP somehow suddenly care about this issue, which kind of backfires on them. Watch this. Less too. Isn't it the case, to the great frustration of men and women in uniform, that this Tory government over the last 13 years has created an ornamental defence force? Nice to look at, don't ask it to do very much or sustain it for very long. Interesting that the SNP now care about uh, the British Armed Forces, considering that they shouldn't really focus on that if they want to leave the United Kingdom. They should really focus on their own army now. Uh, they can't really rely on us. But Ben Wallace, the Defence Secretary, stood up and uh, again his department has not been perfect we know that i'm not really defending ben wallace and his team but on this issue he was perfectly right and correct to completely expose the smp's hypocrisy on this issue the smp cannot tell anybody uh, like, or teach them or like lecture them on the issues of uh, procurement or basic governance <laughs> Okay, well, uh, Madam Lucas, has been getting lessons from the SNP on procurement. I mean, Ferguson Shipyard clinging on by its fingernails. When, when, when push comes to shove, they buy their ferries from Turkey, uh, not from <laughs> Scotland, when they've got a perfectly good Clyde in which to build them. Uh, Absolutely spot on. Where is Nicola Sturgeon and uh, the idiotic uh, leadership of the SNP and all the other leadership candidates who want to replace her? They haven't really addressed this massive issue that they're focused on, the ferry fiasco and everything else in Scotland. He goes on about uh, uh, you know, all the issues that he thinks is wrong with the armed forces uh, from, a, from a man who is going to campaign to break Scotland away from the United Kingdom, <laughs> reduce the Scottish armed forces to a rubber dinghy, uh, and of course just tell everyone else, <laughs> tell everyone else that it's all the fault of the English. The re Absolutely, it's always the fault of the English, according to the SMB. First things first. They, they don't have their own management style they, to, to create some sort of basic governance for Scotland. If the SNP were smart, they would run Scotland in an effective way, an efficient way to present it as the best case study so that when you vote to leave the United Kingdom, people could say, OK, we can trust these guys. But no, no, they completely destroyed Scotland. And now they're saying that we somehow care about the United Kingdom's armed forces. The reality is Scotland is a proud contributor to our armed forces, has been in history and is today, uh, and also the accommodation that the soldiers have today, the experiences they have in the equipment, is a far better equipment and experiences that many of us had yep. in the early 90s. Yeah, yeah, uh, oh, yes, yeah. And, <laughs> and what would be really nice if once in a while the SNP in Scotland actually did more than stand in front of ceremonial troops, got out there, helped soldiers, helped soldiers be recruited, yep. helped the schools talk about what's important about defence, rather than always talk it down. Yeah. I find it weird to uh, praise uh, a cabinet minister like Ben Wallace, but actually he's pretty strong and stable, despite all the, the flaws of uh, the Minister of Defence that we've already discussed uh, on a regular basis on this channel the contracts, uh, the, the civil service in there. But overall, overall, comparing it to the hypocrisy that we get from the SMB side, it's pretty well managed, <laughs> despite everything else. But it is interesting how the SMB don't really see it coming. If you're going to brief one of your MPs to go on TV or in the House of Commons to say something, it's probably best to do basic research to make sure it doesn't backfire on you. Every single time they mention something, for example, an SMP member would stand up and say... Well, I'm going to be criticising the NHS in England. Um, hello, the NHS in Scotland is a mess. When they try to criticise the, the, the education standards in England, well, have you seen the schools? You're literally shutting down schools in Scotland and you're blaming it on, oh yes, the English, as usual. Uh, but got, they, they're completely undermining uh, the majority of Scots, over 50% of Scots who feel British and they want to remain in the kingdom by doing this nonsense, people get frustrated in England or Wales and other places and they say,
they just assume that SNP is just the whole of Scotland and they say, well, let's just leave. We'll vote for you to leave the United Kingdom. The problem is that the majority of Scots don't want to leave. And the best um, option that I have, the best policy, is for all these uh, the Republican SNP Catholics, maybe it's time for them to move to France <laughs> or the Republic of Ireland. Yes, they could do, go back to their roots. Maybe that will help. Or they could become a Viking again. Go to Scandinavian countries. So, someone will take you eventually. I, th I hear Gaza is uh, very good. Uh, the weather is very good this summer in Gaza. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.